going on everybody it's Rexy gaming here and welcome back to LSPDFR episode today we got a new car pack installed by emergency distributors and also we got a visual mod um, which I'm gonna be talking about that in a minute so first of all we just got a pack like I said, it's made by emergency distributors. This is his Blaine County Sheriff's Office Lunar Pack. And it's got two vehicles. One is this um, 2019 uh, Charger. That's a um, little wider body. And, and the second vehicle is the uh, 2021 FPIU which is also part of that pack and the reason why I have this pack installed is because we are still continuing to use cross county callouts as a serious a 313 just um, got an update on cross county callouts which basically adds about six new callouts so uh, we will be uh, taking a look at those Part of that and so uh, back uh, to this vehicle so you can see we got two LEDs on the push bumper including with the side LEDs which I love it it looks really nice and you can see um, and you can see that a lion logo right there on the left and there are no mirror lights on this thing. It's got the Federal Signal Valor light bar. And it's got um, ALPR cameras on the back. And we got eight LEDs on the back windshield. And everything looks great. So lighting, it's gonna be stage one traffic advisor, stage two and stage three. Pretty awesome lighting there. Let's take a look at the interior of the car. As you can see, we've got police laptop and we got our uh, partition on the back as well. It, and as uh, you can see, we got uh, my partner here joining us because we don't know what's gonna happen so we have uh, um, so I have to bring in uh, my partner here just in case uh, if things get um, if things get um, crazy tension going on we might need a partner for backup as well and if we get out you can see uh, this interior looks pretty nice uh, so big shout out to emergency distributors for that we got um, the smart siren controller, the radio unit, and everything looks pretty nice. And um, script hook is now updated for the game version 2628. After about closer to two weeks uh, since um, Alex's. Um, development of uh, script hook just got updated and and thankfully um, you guys have some patience there because I know that a uh, script hook B can take a while uh, to release it once uh, new game versions come out after GTA 5 updates so um, if it happens again we will just uh, revert back to the original um, 2628 version of the game and we will keep playing LSPDFR until the new one comes out so let's go ahead and also um, I want to show you a visual mod that I've installed into the game which uh, we want to test it out it's called Quan B and it's um, 2.12 um, 2.1.4 
and the reason why I got this mod is because the last, you know, two months, um, Quan V was updated to 3.0, but after that, uh, no new updates to Quan V. But mostly Quan V 3.0 is on Patreon, so I cannot pay uh, to install uh, the latest version of of uh, Quan V because I have to uh, save some money for other things. So instead, I just put in this um, old version of Quan V 2.1.4 into our game just to look at some weathers uh, to see if this mod is a good use or not and so I'm done with that so let's go ahead and get started dispatch show me 10-8 ocean 128 to dispatch ocean 128 show me 10-41-10-8 out at 1033 um, Alhambra Drive and Sankudo Drive outside restaurant Chinese food. Roger that, Ocean 128. Proceed to patrol area. Alright, we got an employee reports a customer refusing to leave and being a public nuisance. So it's going to be at Main Street um, in Grapeseed at the LTD gas station. So we're going to respond code 1 over there. It's not a um, code 3 response. Dispatch, show me en route to the LTD gas station at Main Street in Grapeseed, responding code 1. 10 4, copy that. Ocean 128. Go inside and talk to the employee. To oh my God, Dispatch, show there. me on scene at the LTD gas station at 2013 Main Street. I don't fucking believe you. Acknowledged. Ocean 128. Proceed with caution. You can have Officer, I'm so happy to see you. This guy has me beyond frustrated right now. You can relax now. Go ahead and tell me what happened. A customer came in and lit a cigarette and started smoking in the store. I didn't want to make a scene so I politely explained he can't smoke indoors. Then what happened? He ignored me and kept smoking so I started yelling and he finally went outside. I went outside and told him he can't smoke outside either because of the gas pumps. He told me it's a free country unlike where I'm from and he'll do what he wants. I think I've heard enough. I'll go have a chat with him. Go and speak with the guy smoking out front. Alright. Alright partner, go ahead and uh, stay here. Hello sir. Please put out that cigarette for me. And what if I don't? I suggest you don't play that game. I'm not going to ask again, okay? Fine, it's out, okay? I remember the days when you could smoke in a dang restaurant. Why would you even want to smoke at a gas station? You realize how dumb that is, don't you? I mean, I tried to smoke inside. If he doesn't want people smoking, why is there an ashtray on this garbage can? Hmm. It's a state law that smoking is prohibited indoors at public places. I'm sure you knew, uh, you knew that. Not only that, but you refuse to leave when asked. This is private property. You can't just do what you want. So what happens now? San Andreas state law defines smoking within 20 feet of a gas station is a misdemeanor. I didn't really think it was that serious. I mean, it's just smoking a cigarette. It's quite a serious offense. I need to see your ID, please. 
Stand by! All right, sir, can I see your ID? You got any ID on you I can look at? Thanks. Julio Quintana. Dispatch requesting um, 1029 on Julio Quintana, December 4th, 1994. Oh. Requesting pet check. License valid, no outstanding warrants. All right, well, let's see here. So, I think uh, today we will just um, cite him for smoking within uh, 20 feet of that. Within uh, 20 feet at a, a public place, so. So Julio Cantana, we'll just create a citation. So we'll just do throwing a cigarette. We'll just give him a citation. Alright, Julio, here's your one ticket for, um, for basically uh, smoking uh, 20 feet at a, a public place. So it's going to be a, a $1,500 ticket. So, here's your ticket. Please sign here. Um, down below, you got a, a court date. So please, um, don't try this ever again, okay? And I'm gonna let you go for now, okay? And have a great day. Next time you're going downtown. But, Jesus Christ. Dispatch, show me code four off that call and head back to Nate. Attention all units, code 4. We got an employee has triggered a silent alarm from inside the 24-7 store. It's going to be at Barbarina Road, 24-7, code 3 response. Dispatch, show me a route to the 24-7 store at Barbarina Road for a silent alarm. 10-4, Ocean 1, 28. lights and sirens to reduce the chance of alerting the thieves. Park on either side of the road. Wait in your cruiser for your silent backup to arrive, then investigate the silent alarm. Dispatch show me on scene at 24-7 grocery store. Roger, Ocean 128. Approach with caution. Shots fired, shots fired. We got an arm man inside. Take cover. Assistance required on a uh, Barbarino Road. Roger, dispatch, we are en route. We'll keep our eyes filled, dispatch. Victor 13, currently heading to the location. Where are you at, guys? Where are you at? Please follow me. Fucker. Secure the area of all threats. Call an ambulance. Are these the games? Assistance needed on um Barbarino Road. Sweet Jesus. Two down, two down. The 
Get more armor here. Clean up the scene when the medics are done. Alright, well, I guess. Not much. Is there any armed individuals still inside that store? Dispatch, stop traffic. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic control. Near Chumash. Ambulance. ambulance. Assistance required on, um, Barbarino Road. Scumbag! I see the perp. We're in pursuit. What is going on here? Nowhere to run! Oh yeah, I think uh, we found this individual Where now, who was asshole? involved in this. You're on the asshole. Asshole. Oh, I forgot to uh, change this ambulance. And I forgot to uh, change uh, the EUP um, serve and rescue uniforms. Hello. But I've already installed the EUP Mama, law and order uniforms. This is going to take a lot more longer here to clean up the scene, so... Alright, sir, what's your name? Hour, November, November 6, 1997, license bound. Alright, sir, do you have anything legal on your name all about? Alright, well, one of our buddies is going to pat you down. Alright, well, I guess uh, nothing illegal on him, so we'll just only call in for prisoner transport. Assistance required on um, Barbarino Road. So, so Adrian Bauer, he's going to be charged with. Just only for strong arm robbery at a uh, 24 7 grocery store. Nine. And we are done with the call, so we're gonna be called four off that call and head back to Nate. going to be at Joshua Road and U.S. Route 13 northbound. We're going to respond code 2. Dispatch, show me a route to the uh, um, traffic collision at Joshua Road and U.S. Route 13 northbound. 10-4, copy that. Ocean 128. are a white Primo and a silver Regina. So 
so we're almost there. Search the area for the motorist in the accident. Dispatch, we're going to be searching for motorists at the accident near US Route 13 and Joshua Road. There it is. Dispatch, um, OSHA 128, uh, show me on scene. Copy that, OSHA 128. Roger, OSHA 128. Proceed with caution. Okay, well, let me go ahead and change up a little bit. So if I go to Immersion Settings, we're just going to use Generic Response. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, talk to the uh, witness here who saw this accident. It looks like uh, you folks got into a little fender bender, huh? You reported that there was no injuries. Is that still correct? Yeah, we did. I'm fine, officer. Just going to be late for an appointment, it would seem. Yep, we sure did. No, I barely left um, felt it. Sir, let me speak with you uh, first over by your vehicle. Alright, uh, we'll talk to the other driver here. Can you tell me how you got hit? Um, well, I just crossed the first lane of traffic on Joshua Road. I was in the middle where you stopped. Were you planning on going straight across or making a left turn onto the highway? I was making a left turn onto the highway. Right as I was about to go, I felt a jolt and realized I went off. What else happened? We both got out of our vehicles. I asked if she was okay and took a peek at the damage. Then we pulled to the side of the road. I'm going to need to see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance of the vehicle. Investigate using stop the pet, look for any intoxication warnings, gather plate info of the vehicle using stop the pet. Alright. Dispatch requesting play check. It's going to be A2 Edward Frank William 803. License plate 82 Edward Frank Joshua William Martins. 803. Ooh, strong odor of alcohol from the breath. You got any ID on you I can look at? Thanks. Can I see your ID? Okay, Josh Adams. Observe the damage to the rear of the Primo. There is, um, there's the uh, rear damage on the back of the Primo, so. Rapid uh, involuntary eye movement. Damage, lights, rear bumper, trunk. And the status is still drivable. Observe the damage at the front of the Regina.
bent grill, front bumper hood. Sorry to uh, keep you waiting. Uh, can you tell me what you were doing before the accident? Uh, I'm so sorry. This is my fault completely. I was stopped at Joshua Road and tried to cross the highway. I saw a slight break in traffic and went for it. I was going too fast to stop once I got across though. It's okay, that intersection is notorious for accidents, so you were on Joshua crossing Route 13 to get here. Correct, I was scared I was going to get T-Bone coming across once I started going. I simply panicked, that's all. Do you take any prescription medication or anything that would inhibit your ability to drive? No, officer, I haven't taken anything. Like I said, I was just going to fast to stop once I got in the middle. Based on my investigation, I have found you at fault in this accident. You will be receiving a citation today. I do need all your paperwork. If you can get that for me, we'll start with your driver's license first. Stand back! You got any ID on you I can look at? Appreciate it. Jessica Parker, requesting pet check. License valid, no outstanding warrants. Dispatch requesting play check. It's gonna be 05 John George Frank 229. Target vehicle license plate 05 John George Frank 229er. A traffic violation. When ready, go to your vehicle and use copy lights to site parties if needed. So Jessica Parker, she's going to be getting a citation for for at fault in an accident. So I think we'll just only do um I think it's just only going to be exhibition of speed and then we will add a note so saying fault in an accident So fault in an accident. All right, Jessica, here's your one ticket for exhibition of speed. I just add a little note to it where it says fault in an accident. It's gonna be a $250 ticket. So here you go, please sign down here below. It's not an admission of guilt. Um, you have uh, 30 days uh, to pay, so do you have any other questions at this time? Alright, well after that, um, I'm going to be calling you an Uber, okay? 
and I'm gonna tow this vehicle. Flatbed, assistance required in Santiansky mountain range. Dispatch requesting ambulance at 1049 U.S. Route 13. Ambulance, assistance required in Santiansky mountain range. We'll call in for two tow trucks, for two vehicles. And we'll be code four off that call and head back to Nate. Next time. All right, we got an off-duty deputy reports a police impersonator making traffic stops. So deputy has got the impersonator to stop him. Location's going to be at westbound U.S. Route 68. So I think uh, we'll just have to light up here. Just to pass that car. Turn off your lights, don't alarm the suspect. Locate the traffic stop. There it is, I just see the lights. Alright, uh, there's the um, unmarked Toyota Avalon on scene. Wait for the suspect to start walking back. Dispatch, show me on scene at 928, um, US Route 68 for a police impersonator. Roger that, Ocean 128. Proceed with caution. Dispatch, slow down traffic. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic Busy control. Busy night tonight, Near huh? Harmony. I saw your traffic stop and just thought I would come back you up. I don't think that will be necessary. I'm just about done here if you want to take off. What do you have them stop for? You know the usual, just speeding, clocked him doing 15 miles per hour over the limit. I've never seen you around this area of town before. What agency are you with, officer? I'm with a small department in Blaine County, you know, out in the sticks. Let's talk about why you're wearing a, a security guard uniform and your vehicle has police lights and equipment. Sir, please return to your vehicle. You actually pulled over an off-duty sheriff's deputy and his wife. He's the one that called you in. I was going to let him go with a warning anyway. I don't actually write tickets. So what caught my attention is he was going code 3 through red lights for a few miles. Then he started to pull vehicles to the side. He'd get them to stop and then drive off. So you were activating lights and sirens to purposefully to get them to pull over for you. No, it's not like that all. I never approached their vehicle. I just drove off, that's all. I never seen him approach a vehicle. He always just drove off. Once I got a good look at the vehicle, I got suspicious. I drove up closer and didn't recognize the uniform. So I decided to speed past him to see if he would pull me over. He didn't make contact with the other vehicles, but this time he made contact with you, right? Correct. He even requested my ID and I declined. That's right when you rolled up. Alright man, clearly you're out here impersonating an officer. You even gave false information to me. Right now, you're being placed under arrest for impersonating a police officer. Do you understand? 
Do you have any idea how boring security is? I didn't do anything, so it won't matter anyway. Stand back! All right, sir, put your hands behind your back. The You're going to be gonna placed under you. arrest for impersonating a police officer. So this vehicle, um, basically, um, that uh, he was using, we got a ticket book, handcuffs, LSPD badge, duty belt, 9mm ammo, and police-like counsel. And there's the deputy, there's the off-duty deputy with his wife. All right, sir, what's your name? Jason Warford, talk with the off-duty deputy. License valid, no active warrants. All right, uh, let's talk to the off-duty deputy here. Do you need me for anything else? My wife and I have a, a babysitter waiting at home. Nope, he's in cuffs. I'm all good here. You guys can get home to your sitter. Alright, so... We're gonna charge... This person with impersonating a police officer. So it's going to be impersonating a peace officer. And we'll have to search him to see if he's got any weapons. So we'll let um, my partner do it um, to search. And then we will get transport out here. Dispatch requesting transport. Assistance required in Harmony. Nothing illegal, so... And we got the prisoner transporter van on scene. Piece of garbage! And we're gonna tow... Uh, this uh, police vehicle. Flatbed, assistance required in Harmony. Consider this a warning. Fucking fall. Alright, uh, now it works, so uh, we'll be code 4 off that call. And that is going to end for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy uh, cross county callouts and also with emergency distributors pack. So let me know what you guys think of that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.